As part of RiskIQ's attack surface management platform, discovering unknown internet assets is a key capability of ours. And all that starts with visibility. In order to understand your attack surface, you have to know what's actually comprised within it. RiskIQ builds out an asset inventory that contains all of your externally facing assets and then summarizes them through reports and dashboards and risk reports. Here, we're looking at the attack surface for an example company, in this case, the Department of Treasury, and all the different assets they have and how they've changed over the past 30 days. Immediately, we're able to understand the different types of technologies that are being applied across this attack surface and quickly summarize it. If we think about discovering unknown internet assets and the problems we're looking to solve, we can use this data to extend our vulnerability risk program by understanding what assets we might be missing today. Not all businesses understand all the assets that they own. Additionally, we could start to find and eliminate threats and exposures by looking at different targeted technologies or CVSS scores, or even simple things like risk that's been exposed through documents. Finally, as we think about secure cloud adoption and IoT expansion, we can use reports and dashboards and the data that we have available to understand the distribution of different cloud providers from the major providers such as Amazon, Google, and Microsoft, all the way down to different hosting platforms as well. Finally, we can start to answer interesting questions about risk and compliance. Security hygiene is often overlooked, but it plays a critical role in attack surface management. Very quickly, we can understand administrative pages, login pages, deprecated technology, broken redirects, expired SSL certificates, and even more. And what's nice about having an inventory available to you is that you can build reports and summaries like this, but you can also dive into the actual detail as well. Clicking on the actual widget reveals the different assets that match that particular policy. In this particular case, I'm looking for anything that has remote access that's been approved within our inventory. And very quickly, I have a number of different assets that are available to me, all showing different web login pages for what appears to be network appliances. If I click on one of these assets, what's gonna happen is it's gonna show up why it's in my inventory, the affected security policies, the different components that RiskIQ has observed through its technology, and then all the various connected assets that are also associated with this particular asset. If I wanted, I could view the full details, which includes metadata that I can manipulate and change, and also other more in-breath details about the history of this particular asset. This becomes helpful information when we want to integrate into a third-party system or simply just understand who owns it. If we go back to our inventory, another way in which we might wanna report on this information is through a risk report. Bringing up the risk report here allows us to segment by asset priority, organization, brand, or even just the report date. But at a top level, we have a score that tells us the directionality of if we're doing good or bad. And then we have two scores, threat indicators and security posture. Threat indicators is gonna give us anything related to bad things that are happening within our attack surface, and security posture is gonna give us a measurement of how well we are doing. So if we wanted to, we could go into this low scoring area in security posture and investigate why we might be performing scorely. In this particular case, we can look for an insecure login form where there's 33 affected websites that impact this. Again, having an inventory and all the data available to you allows you to drill directly into the problem and see the assets that are impacted. This saves you time and valuable resources because now you know everything's in one spot. With RiskIQ's digital footprint, you can discover unknown internet assets, therefore extending your vulnerability risk program, finding and eliminating threats and exposures, and securing your cloud and IoT expansion efforts. So thank you for watching this demonstration. For more information about RiskIQ products and services, please email sales at riskiq.com or consider joining our community at community dot riskiq.com. Thank you.